everybody. Yes, we are back in Norman, Oklahoma. Of course, last week we were on location in Las Vegas, Nevada. Had a blast, but back in the heartland. And before we pick the three games for this week, let's go ahead and take a look at the three games that we picked last week. Oklahoma State. Damn Oklahoma State. Those Cowboys. They costed me. Yeah, they beat Texas. When it comes to picking games, if you don't cover the spread, it doesn't matter if they win or lose. You might as well have lost. Because I thought OSU would cover the seven, and their offense decided to take the week off. They only won the game 13-10 to over Texas, so that's a loser for me, and that's a winner for the coin. However, thankfully, the other two games I not only covered, but covered with ease. Penn State easily beat Michigan, coin like Michigan in that game. And both the coin and yours truly liked Notre Dame to cover against USC, and that was no problem at all. So both the coin, as well as myself, went 2-1 and one this past week. So, after eight weeks, I'm at 13-11, and 11, maintaining my two-game lead over the coin. Coin's at 11-13. and 13. Hey, what's happening, Norm? Oh, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, Sammy, and I'm wearing milk bone underwear. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right into our pitch. Remember, if this coin lands on heads, it likes the favorite, tails, it's going to go with the underdog. We'll begin in the Big 12. Big game for both TCU and Iowa State. You know, Kirk Curbstreet. I kind of laughed at the beginning of the year when he said TCU would be in the college football playoff, but I guess he right now is looking like he'll have the last laugh unless something changes because TCU, they're in the top five and they're undefeated, taking on the Iowa State team. And you might say that Matt Campbell is a prime candidate for Big 12 Coach of the Year. Believe it or not, the Cyclones are a win away from becoming bowl eligible. Who thought we would be saying that in the month of October? Iowa State, they beat Texas Tech on the road last week. Kind of a surprise, but this week they're not going to sneak up on TCU. The Horned Frogs lead the Big 12 in sacks. It's a team also under Gary Patterson, especially this year, that's been very good on the road. So to me, this looks like an easy pick. Give me TCU minus the 6.5. And, and the coin it is going to go with TCU as well. Hey, Mr. Peterson, Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yeah, now let's get Joe Beer nipping at my liver, huh? Now let's go to South Bend, Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish, well, they're for real. We know that because they not only beat USC, but actually crushed them last week at South Bend. Big emotional win for Notre Dame, but now they have to come back and play on another high level against a team that's not a big-time rival. That's North Carolina State. North Carolina State has been a surprise this season, ranked in the top 15. Remember, the Wolfpack have had... Two weeks to prepare for this game, unlike Notre Dame. So I think NC State keeps it close. Give me the Wolfpack plus the seven in this game. And the coin, well, it is going to go with Notre Dame. How's life treating you there, Norm? Beats me. And it kicks me and leaves me for dead. We know about the thrilling game last year won by the Nittany Lions. But is it possible that the team that won last year's game is seeking revenge? Let me explain, okay? Yeah, Penn State won the game over the Buckeyes, and yeah, Penn State won the Big Ten. But it was Ohio State and not Penn State that made it to the college football playoff out of the Big Ten Conference. You think that makes Penn State a little bit upset? Yeah, probably. Remember, Penn State, Heisman candidate, and Saquon Barkley, a very explosive running back, not to mention special teams player. And also remember, too, you know, Ohio State's JT Barrett, he's going to have to make some critical completions in this game. I'm not sure he could do that against a top-tier defense like the Nittany Lions. I think Penn State not only covers, it wouldn't surprise me if they won this thing straight up, even though I know the game's on the road. So give me Penn State plus the six and a half, and the coin, well, the coin, it likes Penn State as well. Hey, Mr. Peterson, got room for a beer? No, but I am willing to add on. <laughs> well, unfortunately, time has expired, and I have to go to my real job. So... What were your picks for this past week? The coin and I, well, we disagreed on one, agreed on the other two, so we'll see how it all plays out. Make sure to join me for my post-game show of Oklahoma and Texas Tech. It'll be on Sunday morning, October 29th. And make sure to come back next week for another installment of my three picks. See you next time.